Right. Um, well, thanks for speaking to us, uh, Jed, and that's a, we should usually say that after an interview. What We're standing here now by the Cheshire West and Chester Council Office, aren't we? Yeah. Why are so many people... I mean, we'll just show them before I speak to you. They're all holding anti-fracking banners. Obviously, that's to do with it. Uh, why are so many people here on a, um, um, to make their voices heard today? Uh, today was the, uh, the planning committee met to uh, make a decision on the application that IGAS had put... Um, before the council um, on their port side development where they wanted to do a flow test uh, which is a precursor to fracking it was to test the flow to see how much gas they can uh, extract from there. and this was right outside Ellesmere Port itself this wasn't is it? right this in just it, right, pretty yeah. much the centre of Ellesmere Port it's yes. uh, just off uh, yeah. junction 8 of the M53 it's in an industrial area but only within about 500 metres of residential properties as well so the best way to think about it is the boat museum or the waterways yes, museum is close to that it's very close to that's the boat still museum, close yeah. to, the, to the, the, the houses and, ca- and everyone yes indeed my own house is only about 700 metres away from there exactly so all the, so it's not so it's a particularly heavy industry um, you know it's a, it's a controversial it's, I mean, technique there's a, port, isn't it? there's a port there so it's coming and going yes, into, uh, yeah. constantly of various materials uh, including hazardous stuff so what they wanted to do is actually being turned down that's why these jubilant scenes yeah we're all very jubilant we're all we're all celebrating yeah. um, because the, the council have rejected the, 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 the application so that is that I guess I've got to go away now and make their decision they will probably appeal I know how these things go no. they, they will place an appeal um, and we'll probably meet in the high court and this is the bit we unfortunately have to talk about because we've been here before with Lancashire haven't we we pressed yeah, and, well, and, and you know the, the, there will be an appeal no. um, we will hope that, and there should be a public inquiry in that appeal it should be in a case of a public inquiry there's been over a thousand objections there is a real public interest and public concern in this in this particular development so any appeal will, would have to be done as, as a public inquiry now if, if it gets sort of you know central government basically just went over the wishes of the council yeah Lancashire. i mean it, that it, could be what we see here what isn't happened it? in lancashire was i think a similar process i think it was rejected it went to appeal the appeal again it was rejected but then it they they um with lancashire it was quadrilla quadrilla went to the secretary of state and the secretary of state overruled all the council decisions and everything and said no they can go ahead with it so, so if that happens here we're going to see a similar scene to what we see in preston new road for elsie report if, if that goes the same I way mean, do you think? the, the process still i'm now will take a number of months the appeal uh, that, the whole that, that whole course of action and then if it goes to the Secretary of State, he has to go through the whole process himself to make a, a, an informed decision. So that can take some months. So it could be another six months. So if anything, we've won a, we've won a reprieve. And yeah. I, um, I think that if it comes down to our environment, I would hope there's a change of government because the Conservatives are not really showing a concern for the environment in fact, that has to be done. They, they want to push through fracking. They're the only party that seems to back the, it as the well, one, isn't it? The one right? of the best things about tonight, though, and one of the best things is that We've seen Conservatives, um, county count councillors actually rejecting this and rejecting it with the idea that they can see that fracking and this unconventional gas extraction is a bad idea. Bad idea for environment, bad idea for residents' health. Oh, well, thanks very much for speaking to you. Uh, You're yeah, a major anti fracking campaigner, Jed. Here we are, um, Michael Farry for 107 News, Cheshire West and Chester Council Officers.